welcome Yellow Starmite at your service with episode 35 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And so let's play! Okay, and welcome back. Move the mic a little closer here. Um, so now there is one more thing we can do here. Um, and the cool thing is, as we've been over before, we can now teleport whenever we want. Which is going to make this game a lot nicer. Um, and we can also use the claw shot for these bugs too. Instead of just the... Uh... Let me turn off my phone here. <laughs> just give me a sec here. Okay. So now we got that bug. Um, you know what? Now that we're... Wow. Um, and let's put that together with that. Um, I do believe there is one thing that we could do back over here real quick. Since we're over here... Um, watch this totally just be a stamp. Oh, no, it's a... Oh. This is totally worth it. Um, I think I think we only have one Poe that we've beaten so far, so I definitely intend on getting at least 20 of them, because we get another, I think that's how we get the other, wait, that's how we get the, the other empty bottle, so that'll be important. We, we do intend on getting at least 20 of those. Um, let's fight these guys. I think it's just a stamp that we get. I don't know. We're so close. And this is one of the ones I definitely don't remember whether it was a stamp or not. And I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk the fact that I don't want a stamp for the chance of missing a heart. Okay, come on. Okay. Um, so here is my mistake here for putting on bombs. Well, I guess I could just murder him. Yeah, whatever. Okay, come here. Come here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he got me. Okay, and I got you. There you go. You're dead. Okay. Um... Watch this just be a stamp. Please don't be, but it probably is. Worth it. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Who says being careful is a bad thing? Okay, so... I think next where we're going to go real quick um, is Kakariko. And now that we can just warp, we can get their lickety split. Um, hopefully the game will let me do what I want to do there. I don't know if, they, if it lets me do that yet though, so... Let's see. Transform into a human. Um, it's over by the store here. Yes, it does. Okay. If this guy's out here, then the guy that I want to be in here is, is in here. So there should be an extra guy in here now. And let's see. Well, hey, brother. Welcome to Melomart. I heard from a reliable source that shops in Hyrule Castle town are gouging prices, <laughs> crushing folks, <laughs> sounding a little Ar Arnold, <laughs> crushing folks, Yaman, yeah, <laughs> under the thumb of commerce. Well, fear not, brother, for Melomat has proposed a townspeople relief plan as an um, answer to the lamentations of the common man. Phase one, repair the broken bridge leading from East Castletown to the field 
in Ulta. And it's a little German too, but eh, whatever. To improve traffic. Uh, phase two by the Castle Town shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You have heard me right, brother. There's a problem, however. The finances for the exec. So he needs money. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first bit is going to be a thousand rupees, like you just said. Um, let's give him what we have. 859. Um, I already looked at supply, so I'm not messing anything up for myself here. Um, whenever you do this, make sure that you have money left over. I do... I do plan very quickly um, since the wolf, the white wolf that we're going to go see, we're definitely going to do that before we do anything important, um, is near some... Golden bugs. We'll get some golden bugs. That'll get us some more money. That's why we're doing this first, because we wouldn't... Which sounds kind of silly, but we wouldn't be able to hold all that in our in our wallet if we had done that first. So, now we're going over here. I think the mailman is going to appear. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Flarmp. Um, okay, I'll mention this real quick. As you noticed, um, he, he transforms into a wolf or from the wolf into a human whenever he sees uh, the mailman here. So, just with that, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Telma. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Okay, um, actually, let's check it out real quick. Um... We probably have quite a few letters. Um, they came so quickly. Atlanta Rue Tourism uh, the, the repaired. Playground. Uh, that sounds weird and. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a side mission we could do later. There are some folks I want you to meet. So come to my bar right away. We might. We might go. Yeah, why don't we do that at some point? Um, we'll go to her bar and meet some people. Um, but we're not going to do that yet. We need to get down to the field south of, of Castle Town. Hmm, eventually we need to go here. I was kind of wanting to skip too many side missions before we go to the next thing. Just because we... Feels like we just did an episode. Feels like it wasn't that long ago of us doing an episode that's just like all side missions. And... Yeah. Um... So there should be one bug down over here. Um, ah, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this bad boy. Wait, who am I kidding? I could just pick him up. There we go. Female ladybug. Um, is the other one over here? It's somewhere in the field, I think. The problem is with this, oh no, it's, it's super daytime. And like I said before, I can only kind of hear things. So, is it over here, maybe? Oh, 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 I passed over it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Please. Oh, goodness. Okay. Where is he? Oh, goodness. Okay, I am trying... Oh. I don't want to fight all these guys. Where'd he go? Okay. Um, hello. Where are you going? 
think that worked out anyway. Where'd he go? Come on. Get near the floor here. Okay. Where is he? Is he is that him? Oh no. Where'd it go? Oh no. Just just come here. There we go. Uh, male ladybug. Sweet. That wait. You know, I don't okay. You know what? Since we're so close. We definitely want this. This will give us some more rupees. Um, let's see, we're at zero. That just gave us about 38. It's not worth going out of your way for, but totally worth grabbing if you're near it. And then we're going to go down over here, and we're going to see the wolf. And then we'll probably... Go talk to Bug Lady. Go to Kakariko. Wow. This is already turning into a pretty side mission heavy uh, episode. We meet again. This, this next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you wish to master it? Oh, heck yeah. This is my favorite move. Very well. But before we begin, I must test to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the backslice. Now then, come at me! Okay. Do 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 do. Go around the back. Okay. Basically, backstabbing someone. Um. Yeah. Excellent, it appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my fourth hidden skill is... The Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind! Oh man, I love the Helm Splitter. It's definitely a good one. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslash against a fully armored... against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but quickly press A. You leap into the air over the enemy's head and greet them with your blade, immediately striking from behind. Wow, that's a very vivid picture that he paints with his words. Oh, man. This is a helm splitter. Show it to me. So first what we need to do... Um, I think I'm more paying attention. Okay, and the, yeah. <laughs> do your shield move, you do that, and then you hit him. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It enables you to very quickly do two hits on him. It's great. <clears throat> Impressive! Do not miss your chance to land a helm splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the helm splitter, has passed on. <laughs> you got it! Slice into the ground. Oh man. Okay, now we have the helm splitter. There are three hidden skills left for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time you come to learn the next skill. May we meet again. I am sure we will. <laughs> Unless we get cancelled by the network. Wait. That's not how Let's Plays work. Okay, so now we're gonna go up here, or down here in order to go up here. Um, well, I'm gonna point out this little hole. Um, even though it has a thing for um, claw shot, we can't actually do anything with it because of the way that it is. And you'll just have to wait for a, a much later episode to figure out what I mean by that. Suspense. Unless you've already played this game, which is probably why you're watching it anyway. So, you probably already know. Hmm. And just to paint a picture that you don't need to be painted, it is a hot day in Oregon. It's only 80 degrees, but that is, that is hot for Oregon, so...
Actually, I have it kind of cool in my house, but I have to turn off my fan in order to do this. So I'm, f I'm starting to feel the effects. Otherwise, you'd have a loud fan going into the, uh, the microphone. Do I even have a voice for her? Have you brought a bug for Prince Agatha's ball? Okay, so, oh, we have three. Okay. Little ladybug, if I was smaller, I would get on your back and we'd fly around. Actually, no, I don't know why I started laughing at that. That one's not as weird as some of the other ones that she says. Um, okay, six more bugs. Okay. Oh, man. Also, oh, 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 uh, wait, yeah, it doesn't really matter. She already said the thing, so it doesn't really matter. Um, five more bugs. It's going to be four more bugs because we have that other one that we found in um, the Sacred Grove. Okay, let's see what she says about this. Oh, Oh, boy, who's your friend? You're a little snail, aren't you, you little cutie? Little snail, little snail, just once I'd like to take a bath in that slime. She is, okay. I don't know which one is the weirdest one out of what she says, but that one was definitely weird. Okay, so let's go. I'm kind of thinking about going to Kakariko real quick just to put that extra money in there. So we're not floating around with this. Um, Axe. Ooh, I know what we should do. Let's go to Telma's bar since we're here. And then we can teleport from here. Whether we decide to do that or go straight to something else. Because, I mean, we have a wall that can hold a thousand. Oh. Oh my. If it isn't Flarp. You made it. How have you been, honey? Mercy. But you've been... But you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey. Hey, everyone. Introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Flarp. You remember what I told you before, honey. These are those friends I mentioned, the ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the western desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Oru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well... You've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Okay. Why, hello there. You must be Flomp, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Telma told me you've, you've, what you've been, all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the history and legends of high rule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Actually, let's see if he says anything else. At the moment, I'm absolutely entranced by the sky beings known as the Uka. Yes, according to legend, Hyrule was made by the Hylians, who, as we all know, are the closest race to the gods. But, also according to legend, long ago there was a race even closer to the gods, and some say these creatures made the Hylians. When they created the people of Hylia, they s 
simultaneously created a new capital, a city that floated in the heavens. Is it Skyloft? They dwelt there, and some scholars believe that this race lives there still, somewhere in the great sky. Sky beings, isn't that simply marvelous, old boy? What I wouldn't give to meet them. And let's talk to uh, Emo over here. It's Ashe. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight with his own right. He taught me the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not a part of the regiment, so forgive me if I come off as rude. Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but the things happened there that on no other mountain that I know of. Evil controls it. Wow, it's just becoming Surfer Dude. I'm not very good at emos. Maybe I'll just do Surfer, surfer Dude here. So, like, as soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, ah. Huh? Okay, there we go. <sighs> it's been a long time. Fun. My wife, <laughs> Yuli, sent word to me. I have seen the children in Kakarika Village. And of course, I've also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin, Flart. I barely recognize them. In any case, I'm troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I have had a connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I'm gathering information now. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay, so... We've actually... It's been a long time just doing that, so actually we're gonna have to end it here. Um, and we will try to do part of the main story on the next episode. And remember, kids, if you're looking for an alternative to soap, a good choice is using cheese. That way you can get nice and squeaky clean. And this is Yellow Starmite signing off. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you on the next episode.